This episode of Zoocademy is brought to you by T-Mobile, who wish to inspire success while connecting our community to the wonders of wildlife. Hey guys, Ron McGill here with another edition of Zoocademy. Today we're talking about the lowland gorillas and specifically how you can help them. Gorillas are the largest of all the world's primates. The lowland gorillas can get to be the males between three and 500 pounds, females between 150 and 200 pounds. Here at the zoo, we have two males, brothers, Shango and Barney. And these guys are silverbacks, which means basically they're sexually mature. They get that silver coloration on their back when they become adults. And that's basically, it's not a different species. It's just uh, designating that the male is in fact an adult. Now, gorillas are really gentle giants. They're not the monsters many movies and things make them out to be. They're very gentle. They're pure vegetarians. Uh, they don't eat any meat. They feed on a wide variety of different things like wild celery and leaves and things like that. They're found in groups called troops that can number anywhere from two to 30 animals. The silverback male is the head of that troop. The females are all there. Once Males reach adulthood, they go out and form their own troops or form their bachelor groups. These gorillas are found through Central Africa and the Congo and um, Uganda, Rwanda, uh, down into Gabon. There's a different species of gorillas, the mountain gorilla, the lowland gorilla. But here we have the eastern lowland gorilla, the western lowland gorilla rather. And people always ask, well, how am I going to help save gorillas in Africa? Well, one of the ways is a very, very important recycling program. How many of us have cell phones? People don't realize that there's a mineral in a cell phone called coltan, and coltan is mined in the Congo. The Congo is the largest home for lowland gorillas, and when they mine coltan, they destroy forests and they destroy the home of the gorillas. So, by recycling your phone, you can recycle that coltan. Also, it takes the phone from being thrown into a landfill where it has mercury and other things that are very detrimental to our environment. So you can donate your phone to Zoo Miami. We put it into the EcoCell program. It gets recycled and you take off the pressure of mining more coltan. So that's one way you can help. Recycling is very important. We recycle plastic. We recycle many different types of things. But think about recycling your phone. In this country alone, there's 270 million people who use cell phones. And on the average, get a new cell phone every two years. Less than 1% of those phones are actually ever recycled. Think of what we could do if we could recycle them all. So help a gorilla recycle your phone. See you next time on Zoo Academy.